Hey guys, uh, this is Sam Ware bringing you another episode. Uh, today what we're going to do is I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine, Randy Taylor. And he'll show you a really unique gadget that I think you're going to love when it comes to fishing. If you're interested in catching more fish, making it easier to cast into places you couldn't cast before, not getting worried about all tangled up in the stumps and the, and the stuff that you need to be fishing around, he'll show you this little invention. Is, you're going to love it. Now today we're down here at, at Wilkie's Catfish Lake. Now for you folks who aren't the southern bred type, uh, in this part of the world we have a lot of the catfish lakes which is where they people pay and come and they have tournaments and they do all kind of neat things but there'll be a lot of catfishing going on here. So anyhow Randy's on the other side of the camera right now and so in a minute we're going to switch places. I'm going to let Randy talk and uh, he'll sh show you what the bait cup is and from there then we'll go down to the lake It'll demonstrate how it works. Now it is a really hot day today. So as good fishermen do, we go ahead and make our excuses up front. So if they're not biting, we can't force them to bite, but I think you're still gonna be really impressed with what Randy has to show you. Randy, come on. We're down here on the lake and probably, arguably the number one bait for catfish is chicken livers. The problem with chicken livers is they fly off your hook so easily. Now, I have seen people go as far as taking little pieces of pantyhose and wrapping them in it, but that's not a very good idea. Uh, what that does is the pantyhose gets caught in the fish's, the gristle that's inside the roof of its mouth, or they ingest it, and it can kill the fish. With this, this is the bait keeper cup here. Put your bait on your hook, and you set everything down in the cup. At that point, this is where the law of, gra of gravity and physics come into play. I've got chicken liver on my hook. Could you do that? I'm not sure how this is showing up, but what you're doing is rotating the, the, the bait around at pretty good speeds, and yeah, then of course the bait's still right three, in the cup. Three, we still have every bit of the bait on there. All right. I'm not going to cast. Well, let me, let me show you folks this. The way this works is once you cast, the centrifugal force of the cast keeps everything in the cup. When this cup hits the top of the water, it sets straight up like that. When it sets straight up like that, it allows your bait to come out. Even, the, uh, even if you are an expert caster, a lot of times if you do get your bait out there, the rate of the fall sometimes will wash this chicken liver or any pack bait off of your hook. So you're sitting there, you're wondering why you're not getting a bite. Well, it's because you don't have any bait on your hook. I'm gonna go on and make a very long cast. Now let's see if anyone can throw chicken liver. Now if you see the cup, like the least little bit of a hit. See, you can see that cup move. That's another great thing. What we're going to do is we're going to just sit here just for a moment. I'm letting him... Well, I'm glad I caught this one because I'm not bad. Oh, he's just staying down there. he probably only go five, six, seven pounds, but like I say, my dad's on the line. That's the biggest fish we caught here today so far. We're trying to make a run now. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Way to go, man. The captain catch them all bait cup at work again. Yeah. This is what they call flathead or a shovel head. They get up well over 100 pounds. Well over 100 pounds. But this fish hit, a lot of people think that catfish will just hit on the bottom. No, this catfish hit 
four feet deep on chicken liver. Four feet. Wow. Deep. Uh, just out of curiosity, is anybody else at the lake called anything today? Uh, no, this is our first one today. First one today, um, right? A lot of guys have gotten here around the same time, but this is a good fish to bring out right now. Right, right. Very good. Let him smile for the camera. Yeah, let's, let's get him up here a good close up. Now that you've met the captain, I'm sure I'll see you again sometime. <laughs> And this is a catch and release lake, so I guess Randy, you're gonna. Oh, of course. You're gonna yeah, it's, turn it back in. It's so. like I always say, uh, keep what you eat or put it on the wall. But catch and release benefits us all. That's, That's, right. That's right. good. Good way to do. Now let's get another one. 